We were standing there out of bottled oxygen in 50 mile hour winds, 35 below zero. And what did we think of? The first thing we thought of was how to get down. I'm Jim Whitaker and was fortunate enough to be the first American to summit Mount Everest in 1963. This is the 50th anniversary and I wrote a book about that called uh, Jim Whitaker, A Life on the Edge. If you're not living on the edge, you're taking up too much space. We had to hike 185 miles to the base of the mountain, carrying over 20 tons of equipment. So we had 19 Americans, 37 Sherpa, and then uh, 907 porters. So we had a huge caravan of almost 1,000 people walking 185 miles to the base of Everest at just under 18,000 feet. Base camp was just below the death zone, uh, where there's still enough oxygen to support life. But you go higher and you go into the death zone. The sharp I climbed with to the summit was uh, Gambu, Noang Gambu, uh, just a wonderful guy. He was one of the shortest members of the whole group, and I was the tallest, so it was the long and the short of it, east and west, uh, joining forces. It was a terrible day for climbing, and no one else on the mountain moved that day, but Gambo and I had no option. We had only enough oxygen to try for the summit, and so we crawled out and stumbled up, and at 1 o'clock in the afternoon on May 1st, 1963, we were standing on the highest point of Earth. Uh, when we came back, we flew to uh, Washington, D.C., met President Kennedy, and uh, he awarded the Hubbard Medal to us. So we all shook his hand, and we uh, were really impressed with him. You learn when you climb a difficult mountain, you leave your ego behind and learn that you're just a little micro speck in this life, and so that you learn your weaknesses and you have a little broader perspective. Well, I went back at 83 because our son, Leaf, was climbing the mountain. So we went in to escort him up to base camp. So we got within a day of base camp because I had to turn around. I had terrible diarrhea. <laughs> uh, but that wasn't bad to get to 17,000, yeah, for, for 83 years old, right? It's funny, I have people, I guided on Rainier. People would say, you know, I'm afraid of heights. I say, good. So am I, that's why I'm still alive. You have to be afraid of things. You just overcome those things a little bit. And so that, I think, is getting out of your comfort zone. That's the joy of climbing, in a sense, is that thrill of being able to handle yourself on a cliff or in situations that are not really quite normal. <laughs>